Alright, what branch of service were you in? Army. And what were your dates of service? November 73 to November of 93. And you were drafted or enlisted? Enlisted. Why did you enlist? For law enforcement training and medical reasons for the family. Um, why did you pick the branch of service you joined? They was offering what I wanted at the time. And how old were you? I turned 30 in basic training. I was 29 when I enlisted. Do you recall your first days in service? We spent about a month and a half in uh, reception because of no, uh, in November and December we had and, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all in there. So they was having trouble getting a full platoon or a full uh, company to start a basic training unit. We had to wait till January to start basic. Uh, tell me about your boot cam camp or training experiences. A lot of physical exercise. There's weapons training. Uh, we had bivouacs where we'd go out for, say, a week at a time, camp out. Uh, that's about, about all I remember, basic training. How'd you get through it? Work. <laughs> <laughs> um, what type of work did you perform while in the service? I was an uh, MP. I pulled uh, road duty law enforcement and security. Uh, the Army had that, that you were supposed to have one unit of, or one assignment of road duty or law enforcement, and then one assignment of security. Uh, like I started at uh, Fort, uh, <laughs> Fort Hood, or not Fort Hood, Fort Texas, at San Antonio, Texas, as law enforcement. Then I went to Korea and was uh, security on an ammunition dump. And, so where were all the places you served? Well, I started out at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for basic training. I went to uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia for my individual training. Then I went to Fort Sam Houston, Texas for my first duty station. Then I went to Korea for a tour. Then I went to Florida for a tour. Then I went to Alaska for three years for a tour. Then I come back to Fort Carson, Colorado then I went to Germany for three years. Then I come back to Fort Stewart, Georgia. And while at Fort Stewart, Georgia, I went to Fort uh, McClellan, Alabama uh, for uh, some additional training. Uh, then I went to Fort Sam Houston, or Fort Riley, Kansas is where I retired out of. I was at Lackland Air Force Base for uh, training for uh, K-9 school. While I was in Florida, I was at uh, Homestead Air Force Base for security, pulled security on a missile site down there. So did you see combat then? No, I I was lucky I was uh, always managed to be, I guess, in the right place at the right time. So when there were deployment for combat for some, uh, South America and that, I was in Germany, so I didn't have to go. and. Then <clears throat> Then while I was in Fort Stewart, Georgia, I lost my wife and become a non-employable for a while. I went to Fort Riley, Kansas, and when Saudi and them broke out, I was non-deployable for them at the time, so I didn't have to go see any combat. I had the rear ranger, the home front to take care of, and the families of the soldiers that were deployed helped them and everything. Um. Were you awarded any medals or citations? Uh, good Conduct Medal, uh, some Outstanding Unit Awards, uh, my Korean Ribbons. Uh, I don't remember all of them. I forgot my BU-14. What was the highest rank you achieved? E-6. Now I say E-6 because in the Army an E-6 is a Staff Sergeant. In the Air Force an E-6 was a uh, or first class or something. Each one, the ranks were different in different units, but the E grade was always the same all the way through. And E stood for enlisted. Okay. So what was the food like? I didn't think it was that bad. Some of them thought it was terrible. <laughs> uh, I like the C rations better than uh, the MREs. They went to 
they had sea rations when I went in and just a couple of three years before I got out there with the MR, what they called MREs, meals ready to eat. <clears throat> and I didn't like them as well as I did the sea rats. How do people entertain themselves? Well, uh, in, when I was stateside, we pretty much what what they do in here. First time I was in Korea, we went, uh, done a lot of mountain climbing and rappelling and uh, walking the back country and that. Uh, in Alaska, there's a lot of hunting and fishing and that. In Germany, we done some uh, hiking in the mountains and in the Black Forest and that. What did you do when on leave? Well, I went on leave in Germany. I went to Italy. I had a daughter or a son-in-law that was stationed there, and my daughter was with him, so I went down there to see them. The rest of the time, we usually come back here in Nebraska to where our family was. Did you make any close friendships while in the service? Yeah, I made uh, some while I was in Korea the first time, some while I was in Florida. Uh, I can lost, pretty much lost contact with them now, but we stayed in contact for quite a while after we got out. You recall the day your service ended? Yeah. Uh, we retired, had retirement ceremony at Fort Riley, Kansas, and my battalion commander was standing there, and uh, Fort Riley was known for the cavalry, and they had the horses and uh, uh, for their parades and stuff out there. And after everything was all done, I had, we were standing there talking and I was petting one of the horses and my battalion commander asked me, said, made a remark about me getting up there. My wife was standing there and she says, he'll get up on one if you'll get up on one so I can get your picture. He says, okay, so I just got up on one and he kind of stood there and looked around a little bit and he gets up on one, takes the picture and everything. When we got off and got done, we were standing there talking. Well, I says, you know, he used to break and train horses. The giant commander kind of looked at me and looked at her and he says, I think I've been had. <laughs> what did you do in the days and weeks afterward? Uh, when we, after I retired, we went to Utah and went back to school at uh, uh, Weber State College there in Ogden, Utah. And then and my wife went back to school there too. And then after she graduated out there, we moved back here. And <clears throat> I worked, went, got a job temporarily for the state, and then I got hired on in corrections in the prisons for the state. Did you take any college classes while you're in the service? Yeah, we took, I took both uh, college classes and uh, uh, classes pertaining to the military through uh, correspondence on the military and then uh, all the posts that I uh, served at offered college courses with instructors. So I was in on them too. Did you join a veterans organization? I am presently a uh, member of the VFW and a member of the American Legion Club. Uh, this, These are all my uh, awards, individual award. These would be my unit award. Of course, my dog tags, my rank, my insignia, uh, that and this here are my what they call unit crests. Each unit has their own crest. This one's from Alaska. I can't remember where they're all from anymore. This one is a common one here. That one was from Florida. And but that's what your uniform would look like if you're looking at the front of it, okay. straight on. And then. Uh, one or two units, we wore the rope over the right or left shoulder. And then this here is what my uniform my would look like. These were unit uh, patches that we wore on our sleeves. This was the brass that we wore on our hats, our uh, saucer caps, we called them. They were, yeah. This is uh, more of the unit uh, patches for the sleeves. You had your name on... Uh, Let's see, the left side, no, on the right, yeah, the left side, U.S. Army on the right side. This is a badge that we wore a while for the MPs, then we went back to the, what they call the bazaar, the uh, black wrap around the shoulder. This flag 
was thrown over the White House the day I retired. And they've got a, a assignment, a person or two assigned. And all he, all they do is they go around and put up flags all around the White House. When they get them all up, they start taking them down and put up some more. And you can request uh, a flag thrown over the White House on certain days. Now this one was for the day I retired. This is the office authentication letter that come with it. And my wife got it, had, uh, had it ordered through Senator Dole in Kansas since we retired in Kansas. And this here is an old picture of Fort Riley. Uh, I don't, I don't, can't tell you when it was, but we run on to it and I picked it up and had some of my uh, people sign it for me in that. But that's the old Fort Riley originally when it first started. So you're stationed there? Yeah, that's where I retired out of, was Fort Riley. But it's a 716th MP Battalion, <laughs> which I was in. Then we had dog tags that we had to wear. Now, most of the time you wore two of these. You had two dog of uh, the silver dog tags on. And what they would do was when if they, you were killed in combat, one of them was left with the body, usually put between the teeth, and the other one was taken in and turned in. Well, while in the Army, I become allergic to bees, so I had to wear a red allergy tag.